Hey guys, my name is Sun Min and welcome to Your Money Game. So in this first video, imagine if you're sitting with a friend and he's got an interesting proposition for you. So he says, hey, would you like to play this game? So here are the conditions. So in this game, first of all, it's already running. Secondly, nobody's going to give you a manual. Thirdly, you've got all these players that are kind of running around the game and at any point in time, they could change the game on you. Not only them, but hey, maybe even the entire like field of the game changes. And then finally, if you're tired, and you feel like you want to quit, uh, you can't. You pretty much have to, or you'll be incentivized to keep going for the rest of your life. Do you still want to play? Now, uh, I don't know about you, but when it comes to conditions like that, uh, I don't really feel inclined to want to play. But unfortunately, in today's life, it feels as if that you, you really don't have a choice. So there are a few type of people that might be watching a video like this. Um, first, if you belong to a group where money is already a, a subject that's super interesting to you, you're reading about it, you're watching videos, uh, good on you, and yeah, hopefully this video adds value. There'll be other groups of people where if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself that, oh, uh, I don't really have a lot of money, so therefore money is a skill that I can probably develop at a later point in time when I have more money. Secondly, there'll be other people who are saying, well, life's going great, uh, my career's going well, I got money coming in, so therefore money is a subject that I can probably put off to a later point in time. Uh, and then there'll be other groups of people who might be thinking to themselves, hey, uh, I've got a spouse, I've got a, I've got a family member who's really good in it, and uh, I don't really need to worry about it for my own sake, so therefore I'm going to put it off. So aside from group number one, which hopefully this video will be something good for you, I really think it's important that um, groups number two, three, and four or more who think that money is a skill that should be put off, I'm hoping to persuade you that uh, it's a skill that you should be thinking about developing even right now. The reason why I feel that it's important or you might want to kind of improve upon that skill, uh, I think uh, for, for those of you who, who read a lot of current news, uh, you might be aware of some of them. But here are just a few of the, the really interesting ones to me about what's happening right now. Um, first of all, the future is changing rapidly. And you might have heard the term AI, you might have heard the term automation and all these things that are happening around us. But what's really scary in, in the context of, like, say, Singapore, for example, supposedly about 20% of jobs in Singapore might be at risk of displacement by 2028. So that's pretty soon, it's around the corner. And if you think to yourself that, hey, I, I, I'm already in a pretty good role, I'm an executive, I'm doing well, um, what you might not know is that in quarter three of 2019, 75% of the roles that were retrenched belong to the PMET group. Now, PMET is this fancy term, to just say look, professionals, managers, executives, and technicians. So even though you might think to yourself that I'm okay, uh, odds are, if you're highly educated, you're doing well right now, uh, you might be the group that is greatest at risk. What's scary to me is not as if that it's a scenario where you lose your job and yeah, you, it's, you're losing it to somebody else. So somebody's gaining from that loss. It's actually, imagine if it's a game of musical chairs, right? It's like the chair itself has disappeared. So the job's gone, it's not coming back. So that's pretty scary. Secondly, I think the, the issue right now is that about a third of uh, Singaporeans don't invest and another third don't really get as much uh, out of their uh, investment as they would like. So one thing that uh, a lot of people don't realize is that if you just put your money in your savings account, and let's just say it's a basic savings account, the basic savings rate is 0.05%. Take a minute to absorb that, 0.05%. So that's next to nothing, right? Uh, yes, there are some other accounts, savings accounts right now that you can put your money in and you get up to like maybe 2 point something, 3 point something kind of percent. But even then, uh, it's as if, if you put your money there, in fact, the money was co will continue to erode and will continue to disappear over time because there's this thing called inflation. And Depending on, on which sources you read, governments like to say that yeah, the inflation rates are a timid little one percent. But the truth is, for for most people, the inflation rate is again on average about three percent. And this is not even factoring what they call personal inflation, which is like how much your kind of lifestyle increases. So imagine if 
you had the 3% and optimistically your personal inflation rate is like another 3%. So that's like a 6% year on year increase on your cost of living. But if you put your money in a savings account and just sock it away at a 0.05 or 2%, you're not really gonna have enough money at the end of the day in the long term. Thirdly, I think we underestimate the, the different kinds of inflation. So for example, in education, for kids' education alone, I think the estimates are about 10% uh, back in 2018 uh, in terms of inflation. And when it comes to healthcare, it's pretty scary as well in the double digits. So imagine that if one day it's not just for yourself, but you, a, a touch wood, a loved one of yours falls sick, um, year on year, the cost to treat those things are getting higher and higher. Now, sooner or later, money is going to affect you anyway. So that's the last point. You've got all these people around you, whether it's your friends, whether it's your family, and money affects them, right? You want to give them the best life, or you want to live life uh, in, in a happy way with them. Here's the other really funny story, or well, funny not funny, uh, that happened not long ago. There was this situation where a Japanese model married a guy and divorced him after one week after spending $1.3 million of his money. So yeah, money can impact people around you and hopefully not to that extreme. Finally, I think there's a reason to be optimistic. I think uh, in today's world, one thing interesting with all these different services, different applications, different sources of information, um, it's a skill that we can get better at. If we sat down and we asked ourselves like, hey, what is it that really matters to me? Think of uh, Marie Kondo. For some of you who kind of like seen her work, she asked this very simple question, like what is it that sparks joy in your life? And on, on the surface, it could be a bit funny. But if you truly ask yourself that, hey, what are some of those things in your life that yeah, you were kind of doing, buying and accumulating an autopilot and you never really asked yourself, it does that make me happy? I think that's a really cool question to ask yourself to kind of uh, give you back some of that control that you can really change the way you see things. At the end of the day, once you begin to acquire all these different perspectives, uh, it's as if that you are learning that not all these rules or so-called rules are as fixed as you think. The more you learn, the more you realize that you can bend some of them, even break some of them, and live your life quite differently. So I might have sounded a bit pessimistic at the start, but I genuinely think that in today's era, there is so much more available to us, and there's every reason to be optimistic. So even if you just compare yourself to your parents' time, think about all the different services that are available to you right now. If you wanted to make money online, there are services that help you do that. If you want to learn how to do it, you have channels like mine, you've got so many other resources available to you. If you want to learn better ways to track your money or manage your money, there are applications for that, there are services for that. And products that used to cost a lot in terms of investments, uh, in today's era, there are so many other things that are just lower cost, uh, they're better for us. So really, there is no better time for us than now. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you've gotten any value out of this, uh, consider giving me a thumbs up and a subscribe for more videos in the future. And do remember to play your own game.